My name is Brooke, and this is my friend Natalie. Hey friends, are you ready to talk about being thankful? I am. I'm thankful for my family, and for my friends, and for pizza. Ooh, those are all good things to be thankful for. It's always good to be thankful for the things God gives us. Being thankful makes me happy, and it makes me want to sing. Everyone stand up and sing with us. Mountains and trees, your goodness never ends. You are great, and I know every day as I grow, you are my closest friend. Your glory fills me with wonder, cause you, my God, do amazing things. Your glory fills me with wonder, cause you, my God. Oceans, mountains, and trees, your goodness never ends. You are great, and I know every day as I grow, you are my closest friend. Great job, friends. Let's play a fun game next. I love games! Everyone stand up and get ready to play with us. In this game, we are going to show you some pictures. And if you have done what's in the picture, you get to sit down. Ready? Yep. Let's play! Sit down if you like cool weather. Good job! Everyone stand back up. Oh, now sit down if you've ever made s'mores. Way to go! Everyone, stand back up. Oh, now sit down if you've ever helped your parents make a fire outside. Awesome job! That was a fun game. You can all sit back down now. It's time to get ready for a story from the Bible. Let's turn on our listening ears. Click, click. And our special eyes. Zoop, zoop. Everybody, clap, 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 and put your hands in your lap. Long ago, our friendship with God was broken because of all the wrong things people do. But God promised to send someone to fix our friendship with him. So God sent his very own son, Jesus. While Jesus was on earth, he was friends with everybody. He would listen to people, heal them if they were sick, and help them in any way they needed. One time, Jesus even wrapped a towel around his waist and washed his friend's dirty feet. Jesus was perfect and never did anything wrong. Everywhere he went, Jesus was showing love to God and to others. One day, Jesus and his friends were getting ready to go into the city for a big celebration. They were going to have a party and celebrate how much God loved them. Jesus asked his friends to find a donkey for him to ride into the city. And they found him one right away. People heard that Jesus was coming and they were so excited to see him. They made a special path for him to ride down and they even cut branches off the palm trees and waved them for Jesus. The people believed that Jesus had come to save them, so they shouted, Hosanna, which means save us. Later that week, 
Jesus was having one last dinner with his friends. Every year, God's people would eat this special meal together and talk about how much God loved them. Jesus gave them some of the bread to eat, and he gave them something to drink. Then he told them that whenever they eat this special meal each year, they should remember him and what he was about to do for them. You see, some of the leaders in the city were jealous of Jesus. They did not like how excited the people were to see him. They wanted to put a stop to all that Jesus was doing, so they made a plan to have Jesus killed. They arrested Jesus and made him carry a heavy cross to the top of a hill. Then they nailed him to the cross for everyone to see. This hurt Jesus, but he was willing to do it for us because he loves us. When Jesus was on the cross, he was taking the punishment for all of the wrong things that each of us do. Then, on that sad Friday, Jesus died. This seemed like the worst day ever, but God had a good plan. When Jesus died, his body was put inside a tomb, and the tomb was closed up with a big, heavy stone. But on Sunday, the ground began to shake, and an angel came and rolled the stone away. That morning, two of Jesus' friends came to check on the tomb. But when they arrived, they saw the angel sitting on top of the stone. The angel said, Don't be afraid. I know you were looking for Jesus, the one who was killed on the cross. But he is not here. He has come back to life. As they ran to tell all of Jesus' friends the good news, they saw Jesus. He really had died on the cross and come back to life. They bowed down and worshiped Jesus for what he had done. They knew that Jesus had fixed their friendship with God forever. Because Jesus did this for everyone, he is the best ever. Jesus loved us so much that he gave his life for us. And that's something to be very thankful for. And that's what we need to know today. Say this after me. Jesus. Jesus. Gave. Gave. His life. His life. For me. For me. Wow, Jesus is amazing. He sure is. He spent his whole life helping others and then gave up his life to save us so that we could be in heaven with him one day. Jesus taught us to be thankful and to show our thankfulness by being kind to others and helping them too, just like he did. Wow, hearing how much Jesus loves me makes my heart so happy. Me too. And when our hearts feel happy, that's a great time to stop and thank him. You're right, let's stand up and sing. Love each other, love each other, as brothers and sisters, as brothers and sisters, in honor others, in honor others, more than yourself, more than yourself. Romans 12, 10, Romans 12, 10, God gave us family, we can help and love, we're gifts to each other from up above.
song reminds us of all the good things God gives us and how we should treat other people too, just like Jesus. I am so thankful for Jesus. Me too. Say this after me. Jesus. Jesus. Gave. Gave. His life. His life. For me. For me. Let's say our verse together now. Say this after me. Thank God. Thank God. For this gift. For this gift. Too wonderful for words. Too wonderful for words. 2 Corinthians 15, 9. 2 Corinthians 15, 9. Great job. Before we go, let's all close our eyes and quiet our hearts to pray. Jesus, thank you for coming to earth to show us how to be thankful. Thank you for dying on a cross to show us how much you love us. And thank you for showing us how to be kind and how to love others like you do. We love you so much. Amen. Amen. See you next time. Bye. Bye.